welcome back to another one of my videos. This is part five of the uh, the 150 tune. Today we're going to be uh, sorting out the port timings and mapping out what we're going to be doing. Uh, so we're going to use a buzz wangle to uh, work out our port timings and mark up our port timings in the cylinder so we can do some porting. So. Right, we've got our buzz wangle on the crank here and there's our piston inside so what we're going to be doing is first we're going to do the exhaust port so we need to ascertain the opening point there so we're going to put a light underneath if you can see that ah, yeah. and that's it Right, so now we'll uh, zero our buzz wangle and do our duration. Okay, so what we got is 152.1 degrees of exhaust port timing. Right, so we'll make a note of that. We'll make a note of that, 152.1. Okay, we're coming around on our transfer port timings. And we've got, one more. So we've got 121.1 degrees on the transfer port timings. Right, so we need to reset up again now for the inlet port timing. Right, inlet port timing. Let's whiz it round. Opening, opening. Right, closing. Point of closure. There. So we've got 147.3 degrees. Right, it's really important to get precise accuracy on your port timings. So the way I do it is I can is I put some blue in there and I've scribed my port my, my port timing. So it's only a light scribe, so hang on. you can just barely see it. So there we are. Right, having a little bit of problems with this camera focusing on uh, on very fine lines and stuff. Uh, so we're moving to the trusty GoPro. That seems to uh, and the wobbling's a bit better with this. <laughs> so. Yeah, it copes with the fucking wobbling around and the uh, and the close-up stuff. So we're going to move to this. Okay, we've uh, moved to the GoPro now. Zoom in a bit. Full zoom. Now the GoPro is much better at focusing in on this kind of stuff. So I hope you can see my scribe line there. Yep. Yeah. So we go back to the scribe line. I need to be able to see. Yeah. So there's our scribe line. And we're on 167.6 degrees. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going for that timing mark. So that's our exhaust port timing done. We're now running 167.6 degrees on our uh, exhaust port. Right, we zero out the buzz wangle and now we're just gonna do the timing for it. So all the way around. Up we come, very, very slowly. And we're on. 
Right, and our timing is 122.4. Close as I'm going to get it. Okay. Okay, that's our new inlet port timing. We're going for 148.7 on the inlet port timing. Right, okay, uh, we've done some marking up. As you can see, the two inner lines there, that is representing the flat area or the square area of the exhaust port. So we get a nice uh, crack from the exhaust port and a nice pulse rather than it all being curved. We go square exhaust port on the center section and then it's radiused on the both sides to protect the ring. So we're going to go, uh, we're, we're doing 68% of bore, which is, uh, let me see, 39 mil across. So we've got a width of 39 mil. We're using the, uh, to measure this, I haven't used the uh, mapping way. I've gone for the, uh, the cordial measurement, which is percentage of bore width, or diameter of bore. <clears throat> so there you are and if you look inside we will be porting from the same width at the rear of the port because there's no advantage below our transfers so as you get up to the to where the uh, blowdown area is is the maximum width of our port so we get maximum width in the blowdown area so we want during our blowdown period, we'll have the maximum width of the port and tapering off towards the back. So, out with the porting tools and uh, let's uh, take material away. Okay, so we're finished with the buzz wangle and uh, the GoPro now. Hopefully we won't have to use it too much. Uh, that's making good use of our sticky tool. Just thought you'd let you see that as it's uh, now there keeping the, the flies out of the engine casing <laughs> excellent okay that brings us to the end of uh, part five of our video uh, I didn't try to make it too complicated and too boring and rabbit on about stuff uh, just try to keep it simple uh, so we've uh, done our exhaust port timings transfer port timings uh, transfer port roof angle I haven't changed yet uh, that could be changed because we have got a little bit to take out so we could go for a 16 degree but I think I'll just keep it a 15 degree uh, roof angle on that to keep the uh, gases down and uh, help with a bit of uh, low down power um, so that's how it's going to be we're going to have the 167 uh, exhaust port 122 on the transfer ports and blow down periods about un, about 22 degrees to 20 to 22.5 something like that but uh, when I finally ground them out we'll do it again and check them yeah hope you enjoyed that a uh, little update on that barrel how we're getting on and next time we'll be doing some grinding so I'll see you later don't forget to subscribe bye Am I recording? Yeah. Damn, I need to correct that last phrase. It's actually 35 degrees now. And, shut up, dog. 35 degrees and I'm dying. And it's going to get hotter. So, uh, how much grinding I'll do today, I just don't know. But not a lot. <laughs>